Welcome to My Favorite Drum Gear, where I review my favorite hardware, gear, accessories for your acoustic, electronic, and hybrid drums. Today we're going to look at the Lemon Electronic Hi-Hat Controller. There's a lot of hype about these Lemon symbols lately, but the entire process of ordering from overseas, waiting for them to show up, not knowing what kind of reliability has, I know can be daunting for a lot of folks. So I'm going to hold your hand and walk you through the entire process, then I'm going to provide some setup with a, an electronic drum set, and then an initial review. Be sure to like and subscribe because I'm going to come back after I've been playing these for a couple of weeks with another video on uh, my, my full uh, thorough thoughts and reviews on the uh, Lemon Electronic Hi-Hat Controller. So stick around and see what we've got in store. Lemon cymbals have been growing recently in popularity as an affordable option over the Roland cymbals, which as we know, carry a hefty price tag. So some of their ride cymbals and crash cymbals, you can find other reviews online. Uh, I haven't found a lot for their um, actual hi-hat controller with hi-hat, and so I've ordered one. So I'm going to walk you through the entire process of ordering from Alibaba's site, what your expectations should be as it flows through that process. I'll do an actual unboxing and then we'll take a look and we'll see how the symbol actually plays and how the controller functions. With that, let's go ahead and get started with how to order your hi-hat symbol and controller from Alibaba.com. So we will find our way to Alibaba.com. From here, we're going to use the search bar. We will look for lemon, symbol, hi-hat, and sensor. Now what's important here is that we find the verified suppliers that offer trade assurance. That basically means that uh, these are real companies that aren't going to take your money and run. They've been verified by Alibaba. And here we have it right here, the Lemon Symbol Hi-Hat and Sensor Set for Electronic Drums. We'll open that, and that is the one. Again, you'll see here, Verified Supplier, and it's this Shanghai Science and Trading Company. Um, if you look through, you will see that they are very much the Lemon Drum folks. Pretty much all their items are uh, those, those Lemon products. So we're looking at a cost here of $74. Don't get too excited because shipping is going to run you around $35, and then there's tax on top of that. So taking a look at uh, where I landed, shipped to the American Midwest, $109 plus tax leaves me at $117. But again, look at what uh, a Roland symbol is going to cost you. Once you actually go in and place your order, you do get tracking. Um, so you are able to see when your item leaves. Now, I ordered this on July 17th, and it's set to arrive today, August 18th. So that makes it a month and a day. They let me know when it left their uh, facility in Shanghai, when it got to Shenzhen. And then it was a long, almost month of it shipping all the way to Los Angeles, California, which you'll notice happens to be located in Cartagena, Colombia, I believe, gumshoes. And from there, it made its way up to distribution facility and will be arriving to me today. So you do get tracking, you do get a UPS tracking number, which is helpful uh, once it gets stateside. As I said, it's set to arrive today and we will uh, pop open the box and see what's in in just a second. UPS has just dropped this off on the front door, uh, Lemon Thor series. This took uh, one month and one day to get to me. As I said, UPS provided tracking, and as soon as it came stateside, um, that, was, that was in great shape. So let's open this up and see what's included. The package has some weight to it. The, the packaging appears to be fine, plenty of tape on it. Uh, it's a little bit beat up, but not much more than you'd expect from, from something making such a long trip. Uh, 
Alright, so the first thing we're going to pull out here, again, pretty beat up box. This has our controller itself in it. So here is the controller. Uh, if you can see, it is uh, labeled VH11 with some numbers after it, so I find that pretty interesting. Also in the box is our stopper uh, with a hex key to keep the, uh, the symbol from, from rotating. Here is our symbol itself. So decent size, looks to have arrived in de decent shape. It's got the Lemon logo on it. And it looks like here in the box is a second rotation stopper. So we will start digging in and seeing uh, why we got two of those and what all is needed. I'll start putting this together and uh, we'll, be, uh, we'll be right back. Okay, so here's a little bit closer look at what we're dealing with here. The controller itself, as I said, is labeled VH11, which is interesting. It does not come with the bottom plate that the Roland VH11 comes with. That said, it's uh, pretty sturdy, pretty well made, it feels like. You know, plastic, metal piece on the bottom, but it, it does feel sturdy and, and pretty decent. The symbol itself, uh, I'll get a measurement here in a couple of minutes, but um, feels okay. It's a little bit flimsy on the back side here but the front feels pretty good. Uh, again, pretty pretty sturdy about what you've come to expect from, uh, from Lemon Symbols. Now let me show you the first issue I ran into. We have two separate uh, rotation stoppers here. This one is plastic, this one is metal. Um, this one, as you can see, has kind of a horseshoe shape. This one is circular. Now the diameter sizes, um, this one's a little bit smaller than this one. This one being the smaller one, um, I think this is made for a symbol stand. I'm not sure that this was supposed to be in here in the first place. So we're going to disregard that. And we're going to look at this uh, a little bit longer and, and uh, sturdier metal one here. So it's got the, the hex key plug in here uh, to, to lock it down. Now, here are four different clutches. It doesn't come with the clutch, so that's something that you've got to uh, provide on your own. If you bought a hi-hat stand, it's going to come with one. Now, this is a, a Remo quick clutch uh, that I love on my acoustic kit. You will see that it simply does not fit in here. So the Remo does not work. This is a DW brand clutch. It does not fit in here. So that one is out. This is, I think, a, a Yamaha or maybe an off brand. You will see that it does fit in the backside. And this, I think, is a Yamaha, and you'll see that it also fits. However, they do not come through the other side. Now, this is supposed to go on like this, um, but I'm just showing you that this will not come through. <clears throat> so the issue is that um, we've got some burrs here, some, some um, threading issues because of the manufacture of the rotation stopper that just does not allow this to go in. So at this point, um, the entire unit is, is basically worthless because the symbol's just gonna spin um, once it's put on the hi-hat sand. And this is actually the part that's going to push down on the plunger to make it work. So what I'm going to do is simply grab a file and see if I can't knock some of these burrs out and get this whole thing to work. So. Issue number one with the Lemon hi-hat stand that I have encountered is a quality control issue with this rotation stopper. So what I've done is taken a small file like this and I had to file down right in these two lips, which is where it wasn't fitting. So now I've got it to where it's actually willing to fit on there. Now in order to make this fit through the hole here, Here's your standard hi-hat clutch. You've got these two pieces that basically lock against each other, leading to your felts where you'd put your normal uh, acoustic cymbals and then uh, tighten the washer on the bottom uh, to lock the ball on. What I've done is removed all but the top washer or the top uh, lock here and actually flipped it around. Now, with a little bit of force, you're able to shove your clutch through 
and pop through to the other side. And then from here, all the way on, and we use the hex key that comes with it to go ahead and tighten that down. And that will put our clutch on. From here, installation is pretty easy. We simply take our controller, pop it on, make sure it's seated. I'm using the Roland TD-17 model V-drums right now, so I will plug the hi-hat control, that's the HHC, plug in. Then we put our hi-hat itself with the clutch on it using the HH plug and we tighten our clutch down which is a little bit difficult to do um, being that the hi-hat is so tight on there as you can see and then we're ready to go yeah so that's just not going to work for me this is just unacceptable um, it's it once you tighten it down on the hi-hat, uh, the, the rod goes sideways and it, it just doesn't work. So the fix that I found is simply to remove this larger, like I said, I think this is a Yamaha and I've got a smaller DW brand and this one actually allows me to tighten it down. So uh, another strike for the sensor that comes, uh, with the fact that it doesn't include a clutch. And so now we're going to need to navigate into our settings and actually set up the hi-hat controller from whatever hi-hat you uh, initially were using. This is the Roland TD-17 module. Obviously you'll want to look at your instructions for settings, but we'll just go into setup. We'll go down to pad settings. We'll find our hi-hat and Roland makes it nice and easy to just scroll around and we're going to go ahead and use the VH11 setup, and that is all that's actually needed here. Um, now, to fine tune things, we can go into the hi hat settings and calibrate from there, but we're just going to see how this works right off the box. First things first, let's see about some foot splashes. Just check the overall responsiveness of the unit. You can see uh, getting consistency takes a little bit of dialing in. Now we'll go ahead and just check um, kind of some overall consistency within the symbol. One of the very first things that I'm noticing is just how much wobble is in there. Um, Playing nice slow rock grooves is going to be no problem with this thing, but as soon as you start to get into some double strokes or anything fast, that wobble is pretty distracting and can lead to some miss hits. It's fairly distracting. Now that said, the responsiveness of the cymbal is just what you'd expect of uh, one of these lemon cymbals. As far as the controller itself, it seems to be doing just fine. It just takes a little bit of playing around with your own style and making sure that you get used to it the same way that it would if you were playing with a new hi-hat pedal, different tensions, different pedal height, things like that. The unit itself uh, appears to be just fine, again, with no actual fine-tuning done uh, in the setup to the hi-hat controller uh, as far as the module goes. The big issue here is clearly just the wobble, and I'm going to see if I can figure out something to do with that. So one last thing I do want to note is exactly where you mount this on your hi-hat rod does matter. As you can see, the weight of the hi-hat itself pushes down on the plunger and does engage a little bit. And so that actually affects the push down. For me, the more comfortable way was actually to move this completely off of the hi-hat uh, plunger, the controller plunger, just a tiny bit so that when my foot was off the pedal, 
there was no contact whatsoever being made with that plunger. So my initial thoughts on the Lemon hi-hat controller and symbol, Alibaba, as long as you use that verified supplier that I mentioned in the video, everything shows up packaged reasonably well. The controller itself is well made, feels robust enough. I've had no issues with it. Uh, I do notice that there's a small hole, uh, threaded hole in the bottom here. I have an idea. I'm going to mess with that um, for a future video and see if it, it does what I think it might do. Uh, so that's no issues at all. The controller itself gets a probably a 4 out of 5, 5 out of 5 rating for me. No issues whatsoever. The symbol itself, um, for me, this symbol works fine. It's plenty responsive. It feels okay. Here is the problem with this unit, is that right here, there is just nothing reinforced. It is flimsy and it wobble, wobble, wobbles the entire time you play it to the point where it's not only distracting, but you can't play quickly. Uh, the, the bounce affects your rebound, it affects your double strokes, it affects fast singles. It's just, um, it's just unusable. Without fixing that, um, this, this is not going to be a, a best buy. Now that said, they do sell the controller, the sensor itself on its own paired together with, with your symbol, um, maybe a, a smaller Roland uh, CY symbol might do, do just fine for you. The fact that they do not include a clutch makes things a little bit difficult. The way that everything fits on together, the fact that you can't have a large uh, wing nut, the fact that you've got to disassemble everything and you pretty much run out of room is a significant issue. There are, as I showed you, some ways around it. And again, I've got some more ideas that I'm going to play with for a future video. Finally, this rotation stopper, the faults in the manufacturing process, the burrs around the inside that it wasn't round enough for me to get that hi-hat clutch through, made this pretty much an unusable piece until I did some, uh, some alterations. You really shouldn't have to do that with any product that you buy. So as is, this product is a quarter of the cost of what Roland's going to charge you for their model. Is this 25% as good as Roland's model? Absolutely. Is it as good as Roland's model? No, certainly not, not yet anyway. I'm going to try some minor modifications to this, see if I can get it a little bit closer, a little bit more comfortable for me and a little bit more usable. And I will follow up with a video after I've done some modifications and or after I've played on this a little bit to give a more thorough review and, and see how I really like it. Uh, that said, please like and subscribe uh, so that you're, you're hip to the updated videos to see if I can really make this uh, hopefully as good as a Roland VH11 for one quarter of the cost. Thanks for watching.